So thinking about Pankalak Creek um, here, what we've got um, on this side where my mouse is, um, is a digital elevation model. So that's uh, taken from LIDAR, which is scanned across um, the coastal catchments in Victoria. And then that shows us a high resolution map um, of the elevation of the land. So what's quite um, cool about uh, Pankalak Creek is that we have this really obvious big uh, basin and behind it. So where all these uh, colours are here, which are different elevations. But that basin's actually been quite infilled. So we've got this big uh, floodplain, um, which once would have been a big open water area. And so that has an impact on how it functions. So once upon a time, the estuary would have looked like this when sea levels came up at the end of the last ice age. So we've got our river coming in, this big kind of basin, which would have been filled with water, and then our barrier at the mouth. And then over time, as the river comes in here, it actually brings in sediment from the catchment, and that starts to fill in that basin. And over time, it transitions into this kind of narrow channel cutting through our alluvial floodplain. So because Pankalak Creek and its basin has been so full of sediment, um, there's not actually a lot of uh, area left or accommodation space to store water. So what that means is that its tidal prism um, is smaller, and so tides don't actually have um, as much of an influence at the mouth and keeping it open as our other bigger systems. So um, Pankalak Creek, um, based on what I've observed um, and just looking through some of the estuary watch data, is that it tends to close um, quite quickly compared to our larger systems. So within sometimes days to weeks, um, maybe staying open for months uh, during our wetter times. So just thinking about some of the, the natural drivers for this. So we've got quite a small river, which doesn't have um, a lot of flow behind it. Um, so that means that our fluvial or our river power relative to wave power um, is lower. So with consistent high waves, it tends to, to shut off quite quickly uh, once it's opened. Um, because it's a smaller system, our openings don't always scour out a really big channel. Um, so it tends to fill in with sediment from the ocean uh, quite quickly. Also, our basin um, is really infilled with sediment. So what that means is if the tides push up and back, um, our tidal prism actually isn't uh, that big. So when those tidal currents are forced back through the mouth, they're quite weak, and so they don't really play much of a role in eroding sand from the mouth or for a very long time. 